what's up guys we are still updating you what is going on what is trending in nigeria greetings to you wherever you are so um it is no longer news about the economic hardship in nigeria people uh is suffering and it has gotten to a point where some state is beginning to protest over hardship people protest over other issues you understand but this time around people really do not protest about uh, maybe the insecurity they are now keeping insecurity aside like seriously they are now even protesting against the hardship the suffering people barely eat we had a um, story where uh, Kano state protests uh, we also have Niger state protesting over the same thing and the only thing uh, the APC government uh, told Nigeria was that the protest was orchestrated by um, you know the opposition but this is not time to bring in politics it is real it is the reality is there but the government keep bringing in politics in everything that happened you understand the the suffering is biting people it has gotten to a stage that uh, people who campaign for uh, tinibu you understand is now regretting that should make you understand that it is biting everybody and the hardship do not know your political party the hardship do not know if you are in apc the hardship do not know if you are in pdp or labor party that is just it so for a government coming out to accuse the opposition of orchestrating the protest it's so uncalled for that is just the truth you understand because this hunger has in is not a, a, a as in do not respect your political party people like i told you guys people that supported uh, tinibu is now regretting so now what about the the free fall of naira the cbn governor uh, remember senate had someone him uh, the cbn governor uh, had explained the reason why nigeria naira is losing value that is the reason why i'm making this video i will allow you to watch that video and then you agree if what the cbn governor is saying about the loss of value in naira is true or not we talked about um what the reason uh, is about uh the nigerian students studying abroad uh blah, blah blah and so on you understand so are you now telling us okay let me share the video for you guys and then i will uh, give my own opinion on this the exchange rate in nigeria has increased or depreciated due to the simultaneous occurrence of two factors a decline in the supply of u.s dollars coinciding with a surge in the demand for u.s dollars looking at the demand side of the exchange rate it's important to note the growing number of nigerian students studying abroad in 1980s and 1990s the need for u.s dollars for their living expenses was minimal however recent data shows a significant change according to unesco's institutes of statistics the number of nigerian students abroad increased from less than 15,000 in 1998 to over 71,000 in 2015. By, 20, by 2018, the figure had reached 96,702 students as per the World Bank. Another report projects the number of Nigerian students studying abroad to exceed 100,000 100, by 2022. Additionally, the UK's Higher Education Statistics Agency noted a 64% increase in Nigerians studying in the country, rising from 1320 in 2019-2020 academic session to 21,305 by the 2020-2021 session. Given this data, it is crucial to highlight that between 2020 and 20, 2010 and 2020, foreign education expenses amounted to a substantial $28.65 billion as per the CBN's publicly available balance of payment statistics. Similarly, medical treatment abroad has incurred around $11 billion in costs 
during the same period. Consequently, over the past decade, foreign exchange demand for education and healthcare has totaled nearly $40 billion. Notably, this amount surpasses the total foreign exchange reserves of the CBN. Mitigating a significant portion of this demand could have resulted in a considerably stronger Naira today. On the supply side of the exchange rate, to bolster the inflow of US dollars into it. All right, guys, so having watched uh, the video, you understand, I want you guys in with your honest review, you understand. Tell me what you think about the CBN um, excuse, why the dollar is rising almost on a daily basis. Now, because if you want to, you know, think over this or use your uh, psychology sense, let us try to be reasonable uh, at times. Now, are we now saying that the dollar will keep rising because on a daily basis, People they jack back for this country, like seriously. On a daily basis, Nigerians are traveling abroad, study to study abroad, you understand, almost on a daily basis. So now, are we now saying that uh, even the CBN governor himself, if you ask, is his children schooling in Nigeria? Yes, let us try to, you know, carry out a simple investigation. If his own children is schooling here in Nigeria, now, what about the politicians? Do they have their children schooling here in Nigeria? The answer is no. Yes, the answer is no. And then are you telling us that the more students traveling abroad to study, the more the Naira will keep falling and the more the dollar will keep rising? Of course, we know that the reason for the uh, high rate of exchange, okay, high exchange rate is Plenty Naira is looking for a few dollars. That is just the truth. So are we now saying that the more student goes to study abroad, the more the dollar will rise? Is that an excuse? Because we need to ask ourselves the question. So that means there is no hope for Naira to, you know, to come back to its value or whatsoever, or Naira to strengthen its value. Because you cannot stop students from traveling abroad for study. So in as much as you cannot stop students from traveling abroad, that means the bottom line what he's trying to say is that the dollar will keep rising. That is the simple truth. All right. So I quickly want to share the video, what the CBN governor said about uh, the dollar. Let me know what you guys think. See you in another update.